So, this is a box type. There is another type which can be made at home which is little, uh, little more uh, complex in which a concave mirror is used. Basically, what they you can one can do is one some a friend of ours had tried this that you can have a concave surface a uh, something like you know little stronger surface not we had used an umbrella but that umbrella was very very flimsy so it didn't work out but something a concave surface you can have aluminum foil attached all over or you can have mirrors so this becomes a shiny concave mirror this is the painted side this is not going to reflect and the sunlight is going to fall all over right as you know there is going to be a focus if this is the principal axis, this is there is going to be a focus and if you have some kind of rod in the center on which you can find out where the focus is for a concave mirror you can easily find out where the focus is right and there where a small paper will burn easily move the paper and the sunlight gets collected to the focus you know that right? and here you have the pot which you are going to keep black pot. even a pressure cooker can have enough heat to work here in this case you know i found this that a, a pressure cooker this is a vent it will have in a such a strong temperature normally the temperature produced are roughly maximum less than or equal to 400 degree fahrenheit how much of centigrade is that let's figure that out c minus 5 upon c sorry upon 5 equal to f minus 32 upon 9 all right. Okay. So, this is your concave mirror solar cooker. Let us see what is the highest temperature raised. Okay. Okay. So, 400, let us let us make it 432, no 360 plus 392. Let me make this as 392 Fahrenheit minus 32 is 360 divided by 9 is 40 degrees that is not very high am I right oh multiplied by 5 all right so this was for 40 and therefore the centigrade temperature that you will obtain is a very high 200 degree centigrade okay water boils at 100 pure water at sea level boils at 100 so you have 200 degrees centigrade roughly maximum temperature obtained in a solar cooker which is a very very lovely useful temperature to cook for Okay, so, uh, advantages, if I ask you what are the advantages, you tell me what are the advantages of this. Okay, advantages, environment friendly, again, environment friendly, no pollution, then renewable, renewable source of light, you have the sunlight coming, whenever it is coming, I mean it is always there, it does not get over, okay. Then, uh, very healthy food, does not take much space, not much space, economical, it is cheap, you can make it at home and it will not cost more than say I would say 500 rupees. So, it is uh, fairly cheap and therefore, its widespread use is possible. It is possible to use this in remote areas where you cannot have power lines. So, it is it is used in remote areas, it can be used in remote areas, requires very little maintenance, no further cost or maintenance, right. Then there is no, uh, I mean, so these are the, the very important uh, advantages, there are as usual some problems. All right, so let us see now the problems. First problem, it is very slow. You could go put the food in the morning, it gets cooked very nicely, very beautifully by the evening, right. So, somebody has to be around the whole day? No. Basically, what we do is we track the sun in the, sen in the sense that the sun moves in the sky or rather earth moves in the sky. So, the uh, the the sunlight falling directly on the mirror has to be adjusted as far as direction is concerned and therefore to some extent 
it requires looking after after say 2 hours 3 hours one has to move the direction of the 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 cooker solar cooker so it is kept sometimes on on movable trolleys right and it can be moved it can be rotated easily also it can be moved from one place to another so we need to track the sun that's important it is used it cannot be used when there are clouds or the rain obviously right so we need storage cells along with this to collect the uh, uh, the sunlight some parts of this are breakable right though not much but still okay so it is also it is hot and therefore unsafe to some extent the temperature is very high gets very very hot and i've seen people getting real burns when they touch this and they don't remember they, they don't realize because there is not no open flame so they don't realize that it is going to be so hot if you keep a, a pan in the sunlight the, of course the pan gets hot but you know that it will not uh, cause a very very severe burn but this is different this is very different because of the greenhouse effect it gets very very hot okay and a uh, lot of light being trapped inside this is a greenhouse effect very gets unsafe so one has to be careful about and there is a uh, uh, something uh, interesting happening if you are on a high altitude as i said it in the remote areas so if it is you are using it on the hills for example uh, you I know that the the water boils at a lower temperature. So on high altitudes, the boiling point of the water decreases, and therefore again, if it is slow, it is going to be the cooking cooking is going to be slower. Okay. Now this is not such a big problem. All right. The main problem is that uh, uh, it is slow, required tracking. and they can be used only when there is a good amount of sunlight for a long time okay so these are the issues with the solar cooker we are not done with solar energy a very convenient useful but expensive form of solar energy in which technology plays an important part is in the solar cell solar cells are devices which are made up of uh, basically silicon using silver to some extent and these are cells cells are something in which uh, energy is converted into electrical energy most often from chemical energy but in solar cells it is the uh, these are semiconductor semi silicon is a semiconductor so semiconductor device it's a semiconductor device so semiconducting materials are put together and arrange in a way such that electrical energy is obtained from them okay they are called solar cells solar cells are very they can be very small and they can they do not have a high voltage they can produce up to say 1 volt of voltage and the electricity produces roughly 0.7 watt of it which is very little which is very little so what happens is that uh, if this is uh, one cell is producing such a small, small amount of energy then you naturally need lots of them so you put most of most lots of them in series together and then we call it a solar panel